Do you think that you are running out of ways to save money on an easy basis? And I mean easy. And I mean simplistic. It's so basic. It might even like say to yourself, what? How can I overlook this? But many of us do. Let's talk about this back in a minute. Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Don't you love the sound of that? Happy Saturday for all those folks that are off for the weekend. Have a wonderful Saturday and, of course, a wonderful Sunday. If you have to get up and go to work, have a wonderful day anyway. Have a wonderful day no matter what day it is. There you go. Listen, I love to help people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. Now, here's a story for you, and this is true, and I'm actually waiting for the delivery of this item simplistic item, very basic, simplistic thing. You know, I sat down, I did the math. Sometimes math comes in very, very handy. Now, I'm not talking about that complicated math that I'm not interested in. I'm talking about basic fundamental math. And just the way, like I figured out a way to reduce my cost for laundering my clothing by a lot. And by the way, the machine practically already paid for itself. Because now I'm at last week, I saved 50. Now I'm $20 more. I would have been spending. Now I'm at the $70 mark. Hello. And the machine itself was only $81.99. <laughs> so I'm practically almost paid for. There you go. By just spending to save. Sometimes in life, you have to spend to save. But a few years ago, and I was doing this diligently. And then I just, for some reason, ever just do things, then you just don't do things. <laughs> well, that's exactly what happened here. But at the end of the day, it was it was starting to cost. And recently, I love bottled spring water. I'm not going to lie. I admit it. I've always liked it. I think it has a really amazing taste. But after a while, you kind of get a little, you know, spoiled by things. But around here, I like this specific brand best. There's a brand and by me, and even on that uh, platform that begins with letter A, we all know that platform, that went up to, for, for example, I would buy a 24, 24 bottle pack, the 16 ounce one, and that would run me $7.99 a week. That is not including, that is not including, you know, the uh, taxes or whatever that's added up to that. $7.99. So let's say for argument's sake, eight dollars and change per week about eight or nine dollars per week for drinking water now don't get me wrong i'm not saying i don't love it i'm not saying i don't enjoy it so then i says well i don't want to give up on the idea of that water i do still love the taste of spring water so then i found another method involving big jugs so i says well there's definitely a savings here and i did practically shave off a whole bunch of, um, you know, on the price of that. So I reduced it and still got my spring water was from a different company, but I reduced it by half. And then I said, you know what? There are ways and there are ways. Go back to what you were doing. And I was doing this adamantly about three years back. I had bought, and this is not a sponsored ad for any particular company. I'm, although I'm mentioning the name Britta. Okay. I love this Brita filtration system. It is the easiest thing on planet Earth. But now they branched off um, into like uh, different uh, styles of it. For example, uh, some of the pitchers, you know, th what I'm speaking about is basically a water pitcher. They've been around for many years and basically you're using your own tap water. Hello, saving savings. And you literally just pour it into the filter, the filtration system that's that you adapt into the actual picture that they give to you. They are extremely, extremely inexpensive, in my opinion. Just imagine the cost of one month's worth of the bottle spring water that I was getting is about the same price as the picture, which they give you a filter for free the first time around. And those filters are good for about one and a half to two months, from my recollection. But it also gives you an indicator light to let you know when it is time 
to change the filter. So I said to myself, well, what a reduction in price. Because you could buy those packs of filters that literally can last you for an entire year. So you are set for the year. Not only that, you are reducing all those bottles laying around and I'd have to pack them up for the recycle. This is a solution right under our nose. Maybe we've become so accustomed to some common sense things that we've always seen around, or maybe we tried it and then we got tired of trying it. And then maybe we got into our lazy face. Life is always an evolving thing. It is ever changing. We all go through seasons of moods. Well, I'm back in the mood of making sure that I reduce my costs as much as possible, specifically for something as basic as drinking water. Now, some people are squeamish about the water in their town. I'll tell you what my, I would recommend. This is a good suggestion. Um, first of all, of course, I'm not talking about any specific incident that you might hear about on the news. I'm talking about a regular person that's saying I don't like the taste of my water or whatever. But if you could find a way, I could tell you this much, to make sure that you boil your water this, this way, a lot of you know contaminants are boiled out. And then when it's cooled down, I know it sounds like a lot of work, but actually it's really not. You can put it into one of those like hot hot pots, those kettles, like I have those, you know, heating kettles for the water, the electric one. And in like one minute, that water is already heated. Let it cool down, run it through your Brita type of a pitcher. And you got yourself fairly good water. In my opinion, hello, everything here is based on my opinion. So I found a way by just doing this one act. And the thing is, I spent, I'm trying to remember exactly the price, I believe all together because the pitcher I got is a six cup one. You probably say, well, that's only six cups for my needs per day. No big deal. It fits better in the refrigerator too. Cause sometimes the really big one takes up kind of a lot of space. It depends on what you have in your refrigerator and so on. So for my need, the one that I'm ordering and did order six cup one. So that works out. Then it says something about, that the water goes right through it and no need to wait around or whatever, something to that effect. And another thing, speaking of bottled water, they have all these sorts of, you know, grab and go like little, uh, you know, like those individual, what do you call it? Like a tumbler, like a mug, you know, a drinking one, a portable uh, cup that you can walk around with that you could just like literally fill up. Let's say you're at a playground or whatever. You want to fill it up with drinking water to make it cleaner. Just put it in there and the filtration system is built right into it, perfect for people who are exercising on the go, very hot day. This is another cost cutter, just saying, just saying. Listen, I look at it like this, find ways, find ways to save or to reallocate. You know, I want to allude over to another subject for a minute. There's this channel. I'm going to link it up in my description. Now, these channels have been popping up on my feed lately because of the, you know, the recent fact with the uh, portable twin washer. And then all of a sudden I'm getting all of these like RV living type videos. Okay. And then all of a sudden there's this young lady, uh, a video that pops up. She lives in a, a camper, not a camper, excuse me, please. She lives in a van, but she has it, you know, all ready, you know, to go. And it really made me reconsider my perspective of things. You know, a lot of us sit around complaining, now, don't get me wrong. This lady's doing this by choice. She's a, she's nomadic and she wants to be nomadic and travel the country, I suppose. And, you know, these people see life from a different perspective. And I really admire them. I really admire how people could think outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? It taught me something. One, appreciation for every little thing. Not that I don't appreciate, but every once in a while, we all need a refresher course. You know what I'm saying? That like look of like, Wow, you know, this lady found many, many ways to make cooking in the back of a van uh, more um, livable. Uh, she does an excellent job of keeping her van beautiful. She likes living this lifestyle. It would not be for me. Everybody is different. People complain of small apartments. People complain of small houses. But, you know, some people, now the ones by choice, again, by choice is another world. By choice versus I have no choice and this is the best I can do. 
you know, is a different world. So when people are, you know, it all depends on their situation. But what I love most is watching how creative people get about even the most simplistic of things. But this is a really unique way that I've ever seen anyone uh, take advantage of their uh, van. What a great job. What a great job this lady does. And uh, actually, let me remember, her channel name is, I believe it's the Nomadic Introvert. Anybody out there ever view this? Anyway, I'm going to attach her video, one of her videos, in the uh, description box below. Probably, actually, you'll really see it in the comment section as a pinned post. So it's just amazing. So the next time you start complaining about, I don't have enough room, you got like three bedrooms, you know, and all that. <laughs> Maybe we don't make the most of our space, but I am so impressed about how people in the smallest, oh my gosh, it is so impressive. Of course, the bird clock. It is impressive to me of how people utilize their smallest of spaces and they're happy and they're grateful. It's just an amazing thing how they put up with cold temperatures. Uh, one of the episodes uh, of this channel that I'm referring to, it was literally five degrees Fahrenheit outside. And, uh, you know, showing, you know, how she gets through it. And she's happy. And she's happy. This is like a happy story. It's like how people can make the best of things. Question of this day for everyone. Are we doing the best to make the best of things? Or do we sit around whining, crying, complaining, and all things are negative? Nah, 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 nah. I'd rather choose the positive side. I really, really rather do that. Hey, listen, I want to thank you so much for being here today. Um, at the time of this recording, because I am unsure if I am on Steve's channel uh, Saturday afternoon, but I might be, I might not be, because I don't know definitely yet, because I might be recording with him later. I don't have an official word yet on that. But do turn over to his channel at 1.30 today to check if there's any changes on his schedule. He always lets his folks know on his community tab. Community tabs are a great thing. If you don't take full advantage of it, as a viewer, do so because there might be channel updates of your favorite channels that you might be missing out on. Hey, listen, have an amazing, fantastic day. Find a way. Here's a little bit of a homework assignment. Find a way that you could save a whole bunch of money every single month. Saving 32 to 35 or 40 dollars a month just by switching out the water plan. Uh yeah, we're talking like a lot of money a year here. We're talking a lot of money a year. By making one simple change. There you go. Thanks for listening. Have an amazing, fantastic day. And as always, I do appreciate it if you would do the following. Take care of yourselves and each other.